Hey, 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 Aquarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday, April 2nd to the 3rd Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Comment below. Also, I want to hear from you guys if this resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor. Jeez, couldn't get that out of my mouth. The Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, two more cards. The Sun. And the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. Let me get a message from Spirit here before we begin. Leave no stone unturned. They're showing me uh, somebody who's looking over paperwork. They're wanting you to, if you're looking over paperwork, Aquarius, for whoever this is resonating with, they want you to make sure that you look over it at least three times. Take a day for yourself, Aquarius, and focus on your essential needs, your uh, internal needs, your soul needs, okay? Now, whether that's, you know, a combination of, you know, pampering yourself in meditation, um, whatever you deem that you need is what you need. But Spirit is encouraging you to do that one day. Okay. All right. Okay. Light will be shed on an opportunity for you. Now, this is also, I'm feeling this in career and love. Okay. Okay. You may meet somebody through career that is a soulmate from a past life. Um, and it's through, it's like indirectly, right? Because we have the emperor here. We have the knight of pentacles across from the knight of pentacles. I feel like this emperor is going to bring you or offer you an opportunity in work. Now, whether this is like subcontracting a contract to work with, um, it doesn't matter. It's through this emperor. Like this emperor is the conduit for you meeting this soulmate. Okay, so let's clarify some of this. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Please tell me about the Ace of Pentacles for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Okay, they're encouraging me to tell you guys, this is for everybody now, um, to look up where your north node is because your north node is your destiny. Okay, that is your path. So look it up and then read up on that sign, whatever it is. Your south node is what comes easy to you. Ten of Wands. Your north node mm, is like you have to go out outside of your comfort zone although you know it's funny because it's your authentic self but there's always a challenge in following that north node there's there's a challenge that's um you know if there wasn't a challenge it would be boring right so spirits wanting me to mention that okay Okay, now this opportunity at work may come with a lot, a lot, a lot of responsibility. Don't let that weigh you down, okay? Because it is going to be something that's going to interest you. And like I said, there's a love offer that comes through this. 
you will be passionate about this work that you're doing. And this is going to put you on a trajectory that will take you to your north node from what they're telling me. So tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the Fool card is a card of Aries and the King of Wands. Yeah, this is a creative project. There's something creative about this that you're going to get excited about. You're going to have a lot of fun doing this project, but this project is going to lead to another one and another one and another one. And each time it leads to something, they're saying it's, it's like morphs into something else so it's not it's never the same as the project before it's never i don't know i i just feel like there's there's a constant growth in in whatever it is that you're going to be doing okay all right so tell me about this tell me about this emperor i want to know about this emperor now the emperor is the king of all kings right that is aries that is the first sign of the zodiac that's a leader that is somebody who knows uh where they're going when the emperor is in a good place okay this emperor is in a good place i'm feeling this emperor knows the direction that they want to go in and they see potential in you. They see something in you, Aquarius, that they want to collaborate with. Yeah, they want to manifest with you, with the magician here. And this is what they see in you. Male or female does not matter because you have both on the board here. The queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is like right below the empress, right? She is somebody that can make things grow. She's somebody that's very intuitive, she takes care of whatever it is she's growing, even if it's a business, right? It doesn't matter. You see how, how she's looking at this pinnacle and she's, you know, she's really appreciating it, nurturing it. And that's what she does to whatever it is that she's growing. They want to collaborate with you. They want to manifest something pretty big with you. Tell me about this love offer. Again, this could be male or female. Two of Wands. Ooh. It could be a decision. Either you or somebody else needs to make between two. Knight of Swords. Oh, it could be. Yeah, Eight of Swords. I feel like whoever you're meeting through this other through the emperor okay uh they're gonna be all stuck up in their head about you and they're not gonna know what to do they may currently be with somebody but you have such a strong uh they have such a strong attraction to you uh that they can't explain that it's messing with their head it's messing with their head and they're really considering leaving something behind and this is before they're even you know getting together with you this is just through meeting you i think they're going to leave this other person and pursue you and they don't even know what you're going to do because you see this knight of swords here that is like that is a man on a mission could be a woman but this is they've got a mission they want to communicate to you just exactly what they're feeling so be prepared because when this person drops whatever it is that they're with or whomever they're with, they're coming to you pretty quickly. Yeah, this is a past life soulmate. And this is what they feel, the Six of Cups energy, this very innocent childlike love and attraction. It's very specific, that energy. So tell me a little bit about this person. Oh, yeah. They are extremely attracted to you with this Ace of Wands. They want a new, they want a new beginning in love with you. They're really hoping you will respond to them. How will you respond? Strength. This is going to take you off guard, Aquarius. That's the card of Leo, your opposite sign. So that's interesting. Nine of Wands. 
four of cups and six of swords. This person could be at a distance. You got to pay attention because this is an opportunity the universe is handing you and it is a soulmate. So if you have your defenses up, Aquarius, you're not going to see the soulmate coming. You're not going to recognize them. Okay, so open your heart, King of Cups. Open your heart. You don't want to miss this opportunity. They're taking a chance to be with you. And they don't even know how you're going to respond. So open your heart. Keep it open. Okay? Page of Pentacles. Take the opportunity. Okay? Pay attention to your dreams with the Seven of Cups here. And death. Transformation. Use this time to transform. When this emperor sort of, I feel, it feels like they're going to take you under their wing, so to speak. Like you are an emperor and empress in your own right. But it's like, I don't know, there's something about this partnership, what you're going to offer one another, where it's going to benefit you both. And it's going to benefit you in all areas of life, okay? It's really essential for your soul growth, I'm feeling. Okay, Aquarius, I hope this resonates with you. Please drop a like below if you resonate with this. And comment, let me know if you resonate with this. I want to hear from you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, information is in the description box below. You have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.